Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set, uh, a kit of caselet. It says that there are eight people who participated in a race and ran on different tracks numbered one through eight. After the completion of the race, some facts were observed, and it says that out of uh, these eight, for seven persons, the sum of their rank number and their some of their track number and their rank in the race was a prime number. Isha, who ran on track number eight, was the runner up. Prakriti, Emily, and Sanya rank on these tracks, and Renu and Ustaline finished at these positions. Okay, so we have to find out that who finished uh, at what position and ran on which track. So we have eight persons. We will fill the number of track, the rank. And the total. Okay, so persons we have Prakriti, Renu, Emily, Chitra, Isha, Urja, Ustalin, and Sanya. Right, so these are the eight people. And uh, let us fill the direct information. Isha ran on track number eight, and runner up means second rank. So total is 10. Okay, Prakriti, Emily, and Sanya, one, two, three. Prakriti, Emily, Sanya, right? One, two, three. Renu and Ustalin finished fifth and eighth respectively. Renu finished fifth, Ustalin finished eighth. Okay. Now we have to fill this, right? Now what is given to us for seven persons, the sum of their track number and their rank in the race was a prime number. Now for Isha it is 10. 10 is not a prime number. Okay. So for all others it is a prime number. All these missing values are prime numbers. Right. Because for one we do not have a prime number. For others it should be a prime number. So let us try to find that what could be these numbers. Okay. Alright. So let's start with 8. Okay. High number. 8, what are the prime? So let us list down the prime numbers that will make our things easy. So 5 prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, right? We will not go beyond 17 because see 8, 8 plus 9 is 17, right? So 17 is not possible. So we will concentrate on these prime numbers, right? Now, can we have 8 plus 3? No, because 3 is already there. For 11, we need 8 plus 3. 3 is already there, so we cannot have 8. 3 here, we can have 13. That is 8 plus 5. So that will give us 13. Okay. <clears throat> now for this person, uh, this R, uh, that is Re, uh, Renu, 5 plus, 2 is, uh, 5 plus 2 is 7, right? But 2 is already filled. 5 to 11 is 5 plus 6. So it will be 6 and we will get 11. Okay. Now we have uh, these other two uh, people's track numbers are left. So what are the track numbers left? Track numbers left are 1, 2. I mean for uh, we do not have the corresponding ranks. And 3, 4 and 7 are left. And rank what are left? <clears throat> Achha, so let us see for S can we fill something. S is uh, 3 plus 3 plus 2 is 5. 3 plus 4 is 7. 3 plus 8 is 11. Right? 8 is already filled. Rank 2, rank 2 is also so known. So we can have only one possibility that is 4 and this total will be 7. Right? Now from 2. 2 plus 1 will be 3, 2 plus 3 will be 5, 2 plus 5 is 7, right? So 5 is not possible, but 1 and 3 are possible, okay? For 1, we can make the prime number by 1 plus 1 is 2, right? 1 plus 2 is 3, that is filled. 1 plus 4 is 5, that is also filled, okay? 1 plus 6 is 7, so we can have 6 also, right? We can have 1 plus 1 also we can have 1 plus 6 also. So let us see that what are the ranks left now. Right. So we have 4 track numbers left. 
the four ranks left are one okay uh, then we have two three is left okay four and then we have six and seven left okay so these are the four ranks that are left now seven cannot go with one three or six one three or seven if we add one seven plus one that will be eight seven plus three will be ten right seven plus seven will be fourteen so we will not get a prime number so the only possibility that we can fill is six this is done right now 1 plus 3 will give us 4 1 plus 7 will give us 8 so 1 will go with 1 so that we get a total of 2 okay 2 plus 3 gives us 5 2 plus 7 will give us 9 so 2 should go with 3 so 2 plus 3 5 4 plus 7 11 so all prime numbers so this is the corresponding mapping so 1 will have the rank of 1 and uh, total 2 then 2 and 3 that gives us 5 now for these two people we do not know this right so let us write 4 comma 7 and correspondingly we will have 7 comma 6 4 7 7 6 so accordingly total will be 11 or 13 Okay, so first question is how many of the runners had the sum of their ranks and track number as 11. So for how many of them the total is 11. So one is this, right, one is for this, one of these two people will have the total as 11. So there are two people. We can't say cannot be determined because we can determine, we, we cannot say three also because only one of them will have 11. So two people. Who finished fourth in the race? So, fourth in the race is your Sanya. If Chitra was ranked sixth, on which track did Urja run? So, if Chitra is sixth, where did Urja run? So, if Chitra is sixth, we will consider this scenario. Okay. So, we will consider six and this. So, this will be four and seven. So, in that case, Urja will run on track number four. Which of the following statements is definitely false? First statement is the maximum possible sum of track number and rank for any athlete was 13. Maximum possible sum is 13. This is true. Urja finished ahead of Chitra. So Urja finished 4th or 7th. We cannot say. This we cannot say. So it is not false. Renu and Ustalin ran on adjacent tracks. Renu ran on track 6. And Ustalin ran on 5. So that is true. So this should be false. Okay. So let us read. What does it say? Uh, it says that uh, the person running on track 4 finished 3rd. So person running on track 4 finished 7th. Right. That we know. So this is false. We do not know who ran on track 4. But we know that their rank is 7 and not 3. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.